In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how threads operate in Node.js environment and how is it different from other server-side technologies like Java, .NET, PHP, and other web-based applications. To understand how Node.js is so fast, let us see how are things going on in our restaurant Cafe Wanderlust. For every order customer places here, we have a dedicated waiter to serve him. Customer here represents the user in the system and waiter represents a thread. So customer orders food and waiter takes the order to the chef. Meanwhile, chef prepares the recipe. The waiter just waits doing nothing. Another customer meanwhile places an order. The restaurant manager would need another dedicated waiter. This is exactly what happens in .NET Java PHP applications, where each user request is assigned a dedicated thread and meanwhile, there is a blocking task like cooking up food or in the application scenario, maybe reading a file, the waiter or the thread sits ideal. Since for each customer, we need a dedicated waiter, this will complicate things. As customers increase, the restaurant manager will need to hire more and more waiters and we don't optimally utilize them as most of them, they sit idle. But a restaurant manager is a smart guy. He comes up with an idea. What if he just lets the smartest of all waiters handle the customers and keep a bunch of waiters to whom he can delegate tasks? So meanwhile, our smart dude Willy Wait is collecting orders. The other waiters are busy taking the orders to the chefs, getting the food prepared and deliver it back to Willy, who will deliver it back to the customers. Cafe Wanderlust has reduced the operating cost by making optimal use of waiters and everyone associated is really happy. This is the same way we optimize threads with Node.js. Instead of each user being assigned a new thread, it is just a single thread that serves all the customers and for background task uses a thread pool to asynchronously process the request. Now that we have understood the real benefit of Node.js, we will revisit the whole story from a technical point of view. First, let us take a look at a typical Java-based web application. As the request is received by the server, a new thread is picked up from the thread pool and processing happens on the thread. For another request, there would be a separate thread and they would work in isolation unless there is a shared resource access. Threads continue to process asynchronous tasks. Context switching will still happen to allow fairness in threads. When a thread hits a blocking task, it waits there doing nothing. At this point, another thread will get CPU allocation to process its own task. Now, let us move to a Node.js application. As we receive the request on the server from the client, instead of creating a new thread for each user request, the server just adds the request to the event queue. Each consecutive or concurrent request is logged into the queue to be processed by event loop that runs on a single thread. And this is much like our smart evaluator who serves everyone. This code in Java demonstrates how to run a continuous loop in a single thread. The threads run method has an infinite while loop with no exit condition and so keeps running during the entire application runtime. The loop then keeps pulling tasks in the order they are put in. For any non-blocking task that just involves CPU, it processes it. If there is a succeeding task, it is put back into the event queue for further processing, otherwise returns the response to the user. If the next task happens to be a blocking one, for example, file IO, DB operation, it utilizes one of the threads in the available pool to process that task. These threads are much like a bunch of waiters to do background processing. Once a blocking task is processed asynchronously, the succeeding task to this is put back into the event queue and finally the response is sent back.